there. I will be your masonry teacher for today. Did you know, according to Juliet Artistides, how you draw is a reflection of how you feel about the world. You're not capturing it. You're interpreting it. Our lesson is about interpret technical drawings and plans. There are two objectives for today's lesson. First is to read blueprints of masonry plans, diagrams, and circuits. Second is to identify necessary tools, materials, and equipment according to blueprints of masonry. To start our lesson, what do you think is a blueprint? Very good! Blueprint or drawing plan is a print made that produces a white print on a blue background. A blueprint package is comprised of a number of blueprints such as preliminary drawing, presentation drawing, working drawing, and shop drawing or sketch as a detailed draft. How about a sketch or drawing? Do you have any idea? Very good! Sketch is a drawing without the aid of technical drawing instruments or drafting equipment. There are two types of sketches, the orthographic and the isometric. Orthographic sketch projection is also known as multi-view projection. In architectural drafting, such drawings are referred to as elevation view. Elevation views are two-dimensional views of an object that are established by a line of sight perpendicular to the surface of the object. In making orthographic sketch, we have to be familiar with a multi-view alignment first. Multi-view alignment is a way to ensure and keep your drawing in a standard form. How to make orthographic sketch using multi-view alignment? Step 1. Block out views and establish a 45-degree line. The front view should be sketched in the lower left corner of the drawing sheet and the top view or roof is sketched directly above it. The right side view should be sketched to the right of the front view. Step 2. Block out shapes and darken all lines. Here is an example of a multi-view or orthographic sketch. The front view is on the lower left corner of the drawing sheet. The top view is directly above it, and the right side view is on the right of the front view. The three individual views can be merged and represented by the pictorial view of a house. Now what is an isometric sketch? Very good! It provides a three-dimensional pictorial representation of an object, such as the shape of a building. In making an isometric sketch, we have to make use of isometric axis. To establish isometric axis, you need four beginning lines, a horizontal reference line, two 30-degree angular lines, and one vertical line. The following are examples of isometric sketch of a simple object and that of a house. Of a house. Masonry also makes use of abbreviations, and here are some of it. ADH stands for adhesive. BM is for benchmark. BR stands for bedroom. BIDG is for building. BRK is for brick. CEM stands for cement, and CER is for ceramic. CONC stands for concrete. Diamond is short for dimension. EXT is for exterior. FND stands for foundation. FLR is for floor. GND stands for ground, and GVL is for gravel. Here's more. HT stands for height. INT is for interior. KIT is short for kitchen. LIV is short for living room. MTL is for metal. 
Mix is short for mixture. OPG stands for opening. PBD stands for plasterboard. And QTY is for quality. While QUTY stands for quantity, SAF is short for safety. SE is for scale. SH stands for shower. STD stands for standard. TR is short for tread. WP stands for waterproof. W is for window. And WD stands for wood. Aside from abbreviations, Building material symbols are also used in masonry. There are symbols that represent concrete, hardcore, marble, plaster or sand, stone, unwrought timber, brickwork, earth, and plywood. Different types of mortar joints are also represented by symbols. The flush joint, the weather joint, the concave tool joint, and the V-tool joint. Here are some of the door symbols used on working drawings. Single folding doors are represented by this symbol. Double folding doors are represented by the following symbol. While a sliding door and a pocket door are represented by their respective symbols. Window symbols are also used on working drawings. A sliding window is represented by the following symbol. While a fixed window and a jealousy or louvre window are represented by the following symbols. In sketching houses, plans and or working drawings are used to communicate the measurements of the house. They are the floor plan, the foundation plan, the elevations, and the sections. These plans or working drawings use scales. What do you think is a scale? Very good! A scale represents the actual measurements of the full-sized house. Here is an example of a scale. There are two types of scales. One is the architectural scale ruler that is a specialized ruler designed to facilitate the drafting and measuring of architectural drawings. The other type is the metric scale ruler which measures quantitative characteristics or variables. The diagram shown is taken from Masonry Scales 5th edition. The diagram shows a scale rule which represents a scale of one quartered inch equals one foot resting flat on a working drawing. The scale rule is actually being used to determine the length of the boiler room from the working drawing and or blueprint. In order to make a blueprint, one must have a skill in drafting. In your own idea, what is drafting? Very good! Drafting can be defined as the methodical depiction and dimensional requirements of mechanical and architectural structures. There are several tools used for drafting and they include the following. A scale rule is used for reading measurements on blueprints that are drawn to scale. Drafting triangles are used to draw straight lines and to demonstrate specific angles. Isometric triangles are used to create 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degree angles, while templates are used to create squares, circles, arrows, and other symbols that appear on a blueprint. Summary When creating a sketch, it must always be drawn so that someone else can interpret a design. This is because the sketch maker and sketch user are sometimes two different persons. This is done using symbols, abbreviations, and scales. I hope you learned something from me today. See you next time!